Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial where we will be creating quiz application. We will be using Laravel, Inertia and Vue.js. The application will actually look exactly like what we have here. And so we have the quiz app and this name I'm getting it from the Laravel ENV. And then of course we have three tabs here, home, quiz and questions. And in the quiz section is where we will have the questions. When we click start quiz, as you can see, we are having a loader there and we have some three questions here. We have the first question is asking us who created Laravel. In this case, we can say Taylor Otwell and you can see it saying question one out of three. So in this case, we have three questions. And when I click on Taylor Otwell or maybe change to somebody else or change to somebody else or change to none of this, as you can see, the selected value is being highlighted. Now, before we select, it is not possible. Let me just refresh and show you. It is not possible for us to click next if we have not selected a, an answer to a question. As you can see, next cannot be able to be clicked. In other words, it will not take us to the next question. But when I select a value, then I can be able to be taken to the next question. And then uh, this next question is asking us which port does Laravel la run on? And of course, we can see here that it's 8,000, a simple question. And then the last question is asking us whether Laravel support, supports caching. And uh, here, of course, yes. So I believe I've answered all the questions correctly. And when I submit, then as you can see, we are getting a score. It's saying impressive work, your score is 67. It means there's something that I missed. Probably there's something that has been set as a wrong answer. That is okay, it tells me impressive work. And uh, then when we go to the questions, when I click the questions tab, this is where we are going to be creating our questions. And so I want to just show you how we can add a question here. We can click on create and we can type a question. And in this case, we can say who created Vue.js. Then we can have answers. Maybe Yuan Yu. I do not know if, if it's actually the, the person who did it, but it doesn't really matter. This is just for purposes. And uh, so maybe we can put somebody else, James. And then we can have another answer, Timothy. And then lastly, we can have the last answer. And you can see the submit button is not appearing until we have clicked on the last option. So in this case, we have to type in the last option. And in case we attempt to submit without clicking the last question, it tells us to fill on all inputs before submitting. And this one is just an alert. And maybe probably we can be able to put something here to be able to tell us about that. When once we are done with the, we, once we are working on it, and then the last option maybe I can say none of the above. Obviously, we can come here and select which one is the correct answer. So let me click on this one. I'm not sure if he's the one. Sorry for that. And then now when I say submit, I can either submit or decide mm, I don't want to submit the question. If I click close, then everything just be discarded like that. But when I say submit, you can see it's loading and there's also this loader here and it says question and answer created successfully. And then we can be able also to view our questions. So when I click on who created Laravel, you can see that Taylor Otwell is selected as the correct answer. If we check and uh, for this question here, the, the Laravel port, you can see we have selected 3000. And then if you check whether Laravel supports caching or no, you can see yes has been selected as the correct answer. And you can be able to type here if you want to change. So for example, if I if I want to change one of the things here and maybe instead of having none of this, I add for this for this first question where we are asking for who created Laravel, we have one option as none of this. Maybe I change this person and I just uh, name them somebody else, maybe William, and submit. As you can see, it has been submitted. So when we come back and view that question, you can see now the options are including William. And this uh, value has actually actually been persisted in the Laravel database. After that, we have edit. So here where you have edit, this one is just a flash messaging that was there when you were updating the answers. But uh, when it's asking who created Laravel, so maybe we remove the question mark and submit. And uh, 
as you can see the question is updated successfully if we close now you can see that I have a question mark and uh, we also have some response whereby it's saying the question is updated successfully then we can be able to delete this one is having is showing as an alert and probably in future we would uh, maybe instead of an alert maybe have a different way in which you can be able maybe you can use uh, an alert box or something else apart from whatever it is that we have the default one that we usually have in the browser so when you click OK and that re record that you deleted is now deleted now you can see we have three records instead of four and there is no question that is asking about as about who created Laravel so basically that is what we will be creating in this application and in this case we are using Vue.js we are using Laravel, we are using Vite for tooling, and then we are also using Inertia. And on top of that, just for structuring our application, I'm using Bootstrap. But remember, even if you are not so much a fan of Bootstrap, we are just copying some templates and putting them here. There is nothing much that we will do about it. And in this case, if you also want to implement this using um, Tailwind CSS, if you are very proficient in it, probably you can be able to just follow through again using that one but i would uh, suggest that we just stick to the ones that we that i have chosen such that we can be able to move on properly thank you very much for following this tutorial up on this point in the next tutorial uh, video we will be installing laravel thank you very much